Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. We can now say that it's officially official, just about. Tonight at the Quincy Board of Education meeting, committee co-chair member Saeed Ali made a motion that Andy Douglas be the next head coach of the Quincy High Boys basketball program. With just one member opposed, the motion was approved, setting the agenda for tomorrow's press conference where Andy Douglas will be introduced. I know this community, and, and I'm from here, and I know we want to win, and uh, as far as that goes, uh, he's a winner. I mean, he grew up with a winning tradition. Uh, he was a winner when he was in high school. He holds an all-time three-point record in the season, uh, put down 68 of them in one season. Uh, his 98 team finished third at state. They're in the Hall of Fame. Uh, he's been very successful at Liberty. Uh, so I think when you couple uh, you know, his type of character and the role model he is from the board level, and you couple that with some of the ideas that he has moving forward for this program is, is very exciting. I think we're in good hands. Um, I think season tickets are going to fly off the shelf. And uh, so my recommendation from the committee is uh, Andy Douglas, new Blue Devil basketball coach. He is going to bring some real energy next year. Illini West Southeastern, top of the first. Nolan Ard, leadoff single right here for him. Man swings the bat very well. Later, Braxton Squire singles him home with this one right out into center. So you're going to see Mr. Ard coming on home right there. Top of the third, Chargers up 2-0. Squire again lets it rip. Chases on that one and a 3-0 pitch. And Illini West would continue to roll right here. Colt Mellinger in plenty of command on the bump today as he was just throwing the strikes all day long. Illini West is going to go on and cruise today over Southeastern 14 to 1. Up to Blandonsville where Grant Bland was on the bump doing some work early. Nice K from him in the early going. He'd be on the hill again showing off some more stuff. Gets him swinging for the out right there. He'd have 12 Ks on the afternoon. He didn't get a lot of run support today though. Gives up a double here that scores a run right through the gap. The throw at home not in time. West Central is going to take an early lead. They'd extend it after this hit that drops right here into left field. It's going to come into the frame right there. Another run would come around to score. Jamie Cousins, though, would be looking to bring West Prairie back with this bomb right here as he absolutely out, just out, connects on this one way out into left field. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough as they're going to go on and fall in the first game 4-3, to three, but come back and win the second game 8-2. to two. How about this score? Unity and Western combined for 34 runs today as the Mustangs win 22-12. Dylan Schaefer, a perfect 4-4 four for four at the dish with four RBIs. Justin Ketchum has a big day for route with a couple of RBIs as they go on to beat Riverton 8-2. Triopia does some damage today against Rushville, dropping in 14 runs to get the win. North gets three unearned runs and outlasts Griggsville tonight by a score of 3-0. Girls softball, Hannah DeWitt fires 10 Ks as Griggsville goes on to take down North Green 2 to nothing. Over to the Missouri side, Palmyra, Palmyra wraps up the season as the Claren Cannon Conference champs, beating South Shelby 17 to 2. Some Iowa soccer to get to real quick. Holy Trinity wins by a final score tonight of 1 to nothing. Fort Madison does the same behind Braxton Williams' lone goal as the Hounds beat Mount Pleasant. And on to the girls' side of things, Keokuk blows out Washington behind a pair of Taylor Lemon goals. On the soccer front, Lewis and Clark cleaned house in the Gem City today. From the ladies' side of the ledger, Q&D scoring sensation Cassidy Foley signed with the Lady Blazers to jumpstart her college career at the next level. I just fell in love with their campus. It's beautiful there, and I'm really looking forward to how challenging their soccer program is and how successful they are year in and year out, and I'm looking forward to being a part of it. I think Q&D athletics from volleyball to basketball to soccer, the different experiences I've had here is really going to help me overcome a bunch of challenges that I'm going to have and the difficulty of going to Lewis and Clark and playing there. I need to figure out my major first, but I think there's going to be a ton of doors opened, and I'm looking forward to seeing where I can go from here. I mean, I love working with little kids, and maybe I thought about being a nurse with babies, but I don't know. I, I'll figure it out eventually. I'm definitely going to miss the athletics and the family at, like, aspect of Q&D and just everybody supporting me, and I'll definitely miss my family, but I'm excited for Lewis and Clark. 
And during Quincy High soccer annual tribute to all seniors, the Blue Devils revealed that talented midfielder Michael Longo would be also taking his talents to the Trailblazers. Lewis and Clark, it was a great program. I mean, they have a history of winning. And then obviously with Coach Rooney, he's been around for so long. So, I mean, with him picking his brain, he's going to make me become a better player for sure. Well, I think anybody will tell you it's, it's not so much the athletics it is. It is the kids going on to continue their education. That's the most important thing. And when you have kids up there, whether it's the five kids that we have this year or 12 we had last year or whatever, every kid gets a chance to get up there and, and announce what they get to do. And, and the most important thing is going on to college. And that's what I, I admire the most of all of them. Quincy High puts, puts a great schedule together to put you, to get you ready for the next level. I feel like with me being here for four years, it's going to get me very prepared for the next level, so I'm pretty excited about it. A lot of action today, but the big one, Andy Douglas coming to QHS, your QHS grad. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? I think it's a good move. I mean, there were a lot of good choices out there, of course, but, uh, you know, Andy, he just He's, he was a great player for the Blue Devils. He's obviously a great coach, so we'll see what happens. You he, know? Got, he got the most out of that Liberty team, and yeah. I think he's going to bring a different type of energy to QHS next season. People should be excited. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Will. Back with the final check of weather after this.